hi you're welcome in this video i'll be showing you how i sew this corset it's very easy to sew just stay to the end of this video thank you you're very much welcome to my youtube channel my name is Perry. you're welcome please if you're new here kindly subscribe to my youtube channel so you see us five and i'm posting a new video i have made a video on how i drafted this corset so i want you to stay to the end of the video okay thank you so once you've drafted your corset out okay on the pattern paper you're going to cut it out on your fabric so you cut it out on your fabric okay just follow my process just cut it out like so they take you to the same machine on this um this fabric you will know the difference between back and the front so what you do is you're going to mark on the right side see that notch part you're going to draw a straight line yes that is the dart you're going to cut out the dart area do the same thing for the back then you take it to your same machine to sew on the right side you see i marked on the right side because i'm going to be sewing my bias strip on the right side this is how it's going to look like when you're done sewing on the right side you can choose to sew on the wrong side if you want to but for the basis of the tutorial i'm sewing on your right side do the same thing for the front you mark the right side the wrong side so that you know the difference between the back and the front okay then you take it to the sewing machine then you so do the same thing for the lining like so i'm cutting on the dart and this is how it to look like okay please follow my process okay you can put um your buy um amy gum sorry gum stay on it so when you're done you take it to your sewing machine then you sew through this cup area stitch on it so that it doesn't move around when we are putting our breast cup follow my process when you're done sewing through that area we are going to notch it then we are going to take care that um we're going to take our burning 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 take our burning to major half inch on the top and half inch on the bottom do it on both side half inch half half inch on the top and bottom do it on both and then you take your cell tape to gum that sharp edge so that it doesn't injure you when you're wearing your clothes so that's why we are using the gum stay a a cell tape many people use lighter or fire so burn that area but i i think i prefer using a cell tape you do the same thing your bias strip your bias strip when you're measuring your bias strip on the top and bottom you just do it from the top to the bottom don't remove any inch at all then you stitch on on your bony this um bony is, is a bony that you can stitch on stitch on your bony like this on both sides do it on both sides okay and this is how it will come out when you're done yeah that's it so when you're done doing this this is it you do it on both sides then we are going to do the same thing in the middle of your fabric there's a line there just follow that line then you take half inch on the top and half inch on the bottom okay do the same thing then you want to stitch through it you can see yes i'll I run the stitch through it like this see these arrow parts okay we are going to put our bias look at what i'm doing just follow the process put your bias your bias tape when you're done now it's time for we to put our cup don't forget i notched round the reason why we notched round our cup area so that it will give us space for our breast cup to sit properly without struggle okay it was, you see you see how wide it is it's free now for your cup to sit properly without struggle then i think i prefer using this method use needle and thread to tack that area before taking it to your sewing machine this is okay that way 
using a needle and thread doesn't make it to move it will just make everything to sit properly once you're done doing this method you should try it you like it okay you see how our cup is sitting properly now okay then after after you have stitched through it this is how it comes out then you're going to take your bias rib to run another stitch through that part because you want everything to be looking neat inside and outside first make a very neat trimming then you do this see i've folded it in like this then you take it to the same machine then you run 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 a very good stitch on it like so you still fold it in everything should be hiding inside okay when you're done this is what it will give you check out look at the back everything is hidden take it to your ironing table and give it a good press okay Give it a good price let everything stand i don't want this video to be too lengthy so i made another video on how i did it back with the reverse machine and highlights okay kindly check it out okay see how our corset is standing please thank you for watching my video kindly subscribe like comment and share comment and share my video okay so you get notified when i'm posting new videos okay Thank you very much. See you in my next video. Bye.